question. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum assalam. My name is Murtaza Shahid. I'm 16 years old student. I work with my father from Pakistan and I live in Saudi Arabia. I'm your big fan. Sir, I wanted to ask you that performing skydiving, bungee jumping, or diving in the ocean, etc., are these acts halal? Because I am very interested, Jazakallah, waiting for your response. Well, the Murtaz has asked that, is skydiving, skydiving you go into a plane and then you jump from a height and the parachute opens, is sky jumping, is skydiving or bungee jumping where you go on the top and you jump and your legs are tied up and it come up again into the sea, etc. Bungee jumping or diving into the ocean, talking about scuba diving. Are these things halal? Because they're interested in doing it. All these are thrill rides or uh, thrill events where generally speaking, first you have to check that is it safe or not. And all these acts, whether it be skydiving or whether it be bungee jumping or whether it be scuba diving, which are available for tourists, that organization which has this, or the government of the country always check that it is safe. If it was not safe, they wouldn't have permitted it. So number one, you have to see that is it safe or not? And what are the chances of accidents? And we know that the chances of accidents in skydiving or bungee jumping or scuba diving is negligible, is negligible. So surely all these acts are halal. But you see to it that you should not have uh, that you should not have a heart disease, you should not be pregnant, you should not have a medical problem which will cause you to do these thrill acts. Otherwise, generally, it is mubah. There is no problem. It's not a fard. It is mubah. You can do it. As long as you are medically fit, you don't have a very weak heart or you're not pregnant or you don't have medical ailments. And Alhamdulillah, I have done all these acts. I have done skydiving. I remember I'd been to Dubai and Dubai has a very, very good and supposed to be one of the highest skydiving for the tourists. And I remember when I'd gone to the palm where I did this skydiving, it was 14,000 feet high. That's more than about four kilometers. Imagine jumping from four kilometers. And but natural, they give instructions and when you ask how many accidents have taken place, they are negligible, not even one in a thousand. It's safe. Yes, it may be scary. If you have a weak heart, don't do it. And I love these thrill rides. And I have done skydiving a couple of times. And when I did it the first time, I remember it was like, it felt like, you know, before you open the parachute, when you jump from the plane, you move very fast. They say at a speed of 220 to 250 kilometers per hour. I have ridden bikes at 170, 180 kilometers per hour. I have ridden car at 220, 230 kilometers per hour. But imagine you are falling from a height, from 4 kilometers height. And in few seconds, you cover most of it. Towards the end of the fall, but naturally there is a trainer along with you because you are not an expert. So the trainer pulls the the string and the parachute open and then you come down slowly. But the speed that you come, imagine at 250 kilometers per hour, it is like you're riding a bike at a very fast speed. And I love it. I love these thrill rides. They're with my children, Farik and even my daughters. But naturally, you have to be careful to see to it that the hijab is maintained. Uh, when my daughter and when, uh, when my friend's daughter wanted to do the, the uh, skydiving in Dubai, uh, we requested that we wanted a, a lady trainer along with the girls. So I had a gen trainer and the ladies, they had a lady trainer. So if a lady, because you are strapped along with the trainer because you are an expert. So for the tourist, for the beginners, when you jump, you are jumping along with a trainer. And the trainer is the one who is controlling everything, otherwise it will be difficult. So when you are doing these thrill acts and if there is a trainer, see to it the trainer is of the same gender. 
This is one thing you have to take care. And but naturally the trainer sees to it, he controls whether you're going paragliding. We had recently been to paragliding or whether it be parasailing, all these are thrill acts. There is a person along with you in most of the thrill acts, not in all. And regarding bungee jumping, I remember the first time that I had done bungee jumping was in USA. It was in New Jersey. And that was somewhere about more than 15 years back. And I remember when we had gone for bungee jumping, my son, I think he was about, about 12, 13 years old. And my youngest daughter, she was hardly seven or eight years old. And she was insisting that even she wants to come for the bungee jumping. And that was about 450 feet high, supposed to be very high bungee jumping. And I told her, you can go and ask the operator if he allows, I've got no problem. And I was 100% sure that how will they allow such a young child of seven years old, you know, he shot, but I was shocked. The operator said, no problem. And I was in a fix. When we went for the bungee jumping, you know, we are raised by a machine. And I, my son and my daughter together and the string was in my hand. Believe me, I was very scared. Not scared for myself. I was scared for my daughter. She is only seven years old. And imagine something happens. But I was stuck. I told her, the operator and operator says, and then she insisted she wants to come. And she's very bold. And I was, the event, one of the most where I was scared was this time. And imagine I had this thing and I just did Bismillah and I pulled it. And all three of us, my son, my daughter, my younger daughter and myself, we came and we fell at a high speed and you know, in the bungee jumping, then again there's a spring and you come up and it keeps you know, bouncing. That was one of the rides or the thrill events in which I was absolutely scared because my daughter was only seven years old and we have also done scuba diving we have gone a few times in Mauritius we have gone in Malaysia and it's beautiful of course they give you a training and they give instruction this is the first time you're doing it there's a trainer with you and the trainer is there if something happens he will take care of you and in these events see to it that the trainers of the same sex it is no problem at all, it's perfectly halal. If you have a soft heart, if you are scared and you cannot take it, don't do it. But is it halal? Yes, it's halal. In fact, I would say it is good because, you know, this gives you a training. The Prophet said that you have to do horse riding, you have to do this, so that it gives you more courage. So I've, I, I love and I've seen to it that my children do it. And we love these thrill rides, so it's no problem, it's perfectly halal. But see to it that you have to check that it is safe. And most of the thrill rides or the thrill events, whether it be skydiving or bungee jumping or scuba diving, of course, they have got the rules and regulations, they have the safety measured. Thousands of people will hardly you find 0.001% where there may be certain some accidents which are very rare. If that's the case, by some of the people say it's haram, then even, even when you ride a motorcycle or you drive a car on the street, there are accidents. And the percentage of accidents while driving a car or driving a motorcycle is multiple times more as compared, as compared to skydiving or bungee jumping or scuba diving. So you will not say that driving a car is haram or driving a motorcycle is haram on the street. So using the same logic, all these thrill rides and thrill events that are there, the safety measure is taken in most of the cases. See to it, it is in place and follow the instruction. It's perfectly mobile, it is halal and you can do it and you can enjoy it. Hope that's it.